Hello everyone, this is me Kevin Excel. I'm back again with another video on this channel. So today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a new sticker or scrolling text or crawling sticker, something like this, as you can see on my screen right now. So I'm just going to show you guys that how to do this right now. So you guys can pretty much easily do that. So without wasting much time, let's get into the video and let me show you guys that. <laughs> So first of all, for making this new sticker, we will be needing a Photoshop design. So you will get the download link of the Photoshop design in the description. So as you can see right over there on my desktop, I've got the new sticker PSD file, which is the Photoshop design I'm going to use for my new sticker style. So you can just like use your custom designs. It doesn't matter. You can just uh, like launch Photoshop and can do your custom designs over there. And and that will be perfectly fine so after you have your design what you have to do you have to make sure you have after effects installed so we're going to use after effects for making this so what you have to do after that you just have to open up after effects so from after effects we are going to make this text so from after effects what we have to do we have to create a new composition so just click on new composition and from over there you have to select your video's resolution if you make videos in 1080p which is full hd then you have to select your weight and height to 1080p but if you make like uh, 4k uhd videos then you will be needing to make a 4k project file and uh, i want to say you one thing that make sure that you use a 4k resolution on your photoshop project as well if you want to like use this design on a 4k project so make sure that the resolution of your photoshop file is also 4k so that when you use that in after effects it will be also 4k as well so i'm going to work with a full HD file so that's why I'm gonna select 1080p so you have to make sure like how long you want that lower third to be you can make it like 30 seconds 60 seconds or how longer you want so for example I'm gonna like do only 10 seconds for now so I'm gonna hit on OK and then it's just going to give me this composition. Then after that, what you have to do, you have to just import your PSD file. So I have to click on import and then I'm gonna click on file. So from desktop, I'm just gonna easily import my new sticker PSD file. Then you have to just click on open and then from import kind, select to composition and then select editable layer style, then hit on OK. So then as you can see, it gave me the new sticker composition. I have to just double click and then it will be opened over here. So as you can see, this is showing me something like that. So after that, what do you have to do? You have to just animate this. So as you can see, the rolling text layer is the layer on which there will be text rolling. So first of all, I'm just gonna animate this layer and then I'm gonna add text. So for that, what you have to do, you just have to select this layer and then you have to hit P on your keyboard to bring out the position key. So after you are in position, what you have to do, you have to click this timer thing and make a keyframe over there. Then you have to make sure that you remember the value. So the value is uh, 960 over here. Then I'm going to move forward about uh, one frame like one second then what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna like make another keyframe over there and i'm gonna make sure that its value is 960 as well then i'm gonna return to the keyframe and then i'm just gonna like change this thing and i'm gonna make it go out of the screen so what you have to do you have to just click and hold on this value and then you have to drag your mouse right or left and then you have to make sure that it is out of the screen and now if we see we have a animation like that so if you play then you will have animation like that so it is pretty slow so i'm gonna go like 0 0.30 seconds so then as you can see it shows something like that or maybe 15 frames so 15 frames seems pretty good to me as you can see yes then we are going to select the keyframes then right click and click on keyframe assistant and then click on easy ease and then you can just go to the graph editor and then make sure the graph editor it is at set speed graph and then just select the graph and make it something like this 
so the animation will be like this so it looks more good and now i think i'm gonna drag this keyframe to 30 so that it looks kind of like this which is looks pretty good to me then we're going to do the same with the more information so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna also hit p to bring out the position properties and then what i'm gonna do when it's almost over here i'm gonna like animate this more information so as you can see i have to always make sure that i know the value which is 960 so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna create a keyframe and then i'm gonna make sure that it is out of the screen and then I'm going to get a little bit farther, somewhere maybe near over there. And I'm going to select 960. So it's back again. And then I'm going to select the keyframes. Right click, then go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then go to the graph editor and make it something like that. So it will look like this. So I think I will, you know, take this keyframe a little bit closer. So it will be something like this. Yes, this looks pretty perfect to me. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to right now add the text more information. So select the text tool and write more information. So as you can see right over there, I have write more information. I'm going to make it bold. Just select the font, select the text and make it bold. And I'm going to make its color to black. And then I'm gonna hit S to bring the scale and then I'm going to make it scale more little and then I'm gonna position it inside this more information and then I can always use my arrow keys to position it in the middle in the perfect so as you can see more information is added over there so we are going to also animate that as well so we are going to you know match the keyframes with the more information so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna right now click on p to bring out the position settings so then i'm gonna create a keyframe over there and i'm going to see the value which is 53.5 so i will also drag this out of here and then i'm gonna go over there and i'm just gonna hit 53.5 so it will be back over there, something like this. And then I think it is 54.5, I'm not sure, let's see. So as you can see, it's perfectly in the middle. So I'm gonna select the keyframes and then go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. Then go to graph editor and then make sure it is also matching the same settings as well. So if we play, then we will see something like this. So which looks pretty great. And then what we are going to do, we are going to add some more little bit of effects so that it looks more great. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a, you know, another text which will say the channel name or your company name or whatever you want to say. So in my case, it is Gavnexel. So I'm going to write Gavnexel and then I'm going to hit S to bring the scale and then I'm going to make its color white so that it will be visible so i'm gonna drag it over there so then as you can see it is more visible now so i'm gonna use my arrow keys to make it position i'm gonna make it a little bit more smaller so that it looks pretty good so as you can see it looks pretty good right now gavin excel so i'm gonna animate that as well so when it's over here when you know the black bar completely fills the screen i'm going to make a you know scale keyframe and then as you can see the value is 45 so i'm gonna make sure it is zero and when it's like after a few you know frames i'm gonna make it 45 again so then it is goes something like that as you can see as soon as it hits it will pop out the animation and i'm gonna make sure that it's also easy eased and after easy easing just go to graph editor and make sure you zoomed a little bit and then give it the same effect as well now let's go back and let's see how does this looks so as you can see this looks pretty great i think it will look more great if we you know add it 
a little bit of absence between the keyframes something like this so it will you know go something like that and that looks more smoother so then i'm gonna you know add a couple of shapes before even adding the text i'm gonna add a shape to over there so that it will you know separate or bisect the rolling text from my logo so it will look more great so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go to this rectangular and then i'm gonna just zoom in so after zooming in what you have to do you have to just create a rectangular shape something like this over there and make sure that its color is white it looks pretty good to me so as you can see our shape is added so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna like zoom back i'm gonna make it fit screen and then i'm gonna see the animation so we also have to animate this as well so after that i'm gonna animate that so i'm gonna hit p on my keyboard to bring out position so after that as you can see this looks something like this so when it is somewhere near about there what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna like make a position keyframe this time we're going to change this 540 so make sure to remember the value which is 540 so drag it down something like this until it is out of the screen then go maybe somewhere near about that and make sure that it is 540 again so it will match it like this so do the same go to the keyframe assistant easy ease then go to the graph editor and do the same as well now let's see to the animation so i think i'll give it more of a delay so that it looks more great so select just one keyframe and give it a more delay so it will look something like this so that looks smooth pretty much smooth i can say i will make it more further so then as you can see that's how it will look great so right now we are going to add the actual text so i'm gonna create another text layer and i'm gonna like write subscribe right now for more awesome and helpful videos so let's add the text and the thing is that i would like to tell you guys that make sure to use your notepad or text editor so that you can like edit your text over here and then you can just pretty much easily copy paste that if it's a huge text maybe you wouldn't be able to see that so in that case you can just write it on your notepad and then you can just copy it so for example if i write it over here like this So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to like copy this text and then I'm going to paste it over here, something like this. So after you have written the text, so then you can hit S to bring the scale to scale it a little bit smaller and then use your moving tool to take it inside of this layer. I'm going to make it a little bit more smaller so that it will be fit perfectly inside this so as you can see it is looking pretty good to me right now so i'm gonna go over there so after as you can see somewhere near like this so at this point i'm gonna hit p to bring out the position key and form over there what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna create a keyframe and after that i will just take it out of the screen something like this and then I will go at the end of the video. So I'm going to just zoom out the timeline. I'm just going to go to the end of the video or the composition. And I'm going to, you know, drag this. And I will take it from right side to the left side of my screen. So it will come from the right side and then it will go to the left side of the screen. Something like this. Then you have to keep doing it until it is out of the screen. So just keep doing it just do it like that as you can see until it is out of the screen so as you can see when it is out of the screen so after you are done animating this so if we play that then as you can see it will show you guys something like this so if you have a very long video and a very short text then it will go really slow but if you have a very small video and a very long text then the text will go very fast so it does depends on your video length and your text length as well 
So as you can see after it is somewhere like this, so as you can see this Gavnik cell and the subscribe, like the text is overlapping. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create an adjustment layer to fix that thing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna right click on my composition from there. I'm gonna select a shape layer. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna like zoom in a little bit. And then I'm gonna create a shape layer something like this i'm gonna make sure that it's matching i'm gonna create a shape layer like this and then as you can see after that what you have to do you have to just click on toggle switch and models and then you have to select this text and then from track mat you have to select alpha inverted mate shape layer 2 and then as you can see if we go back and if i you know click on fit then you will see that it is not overlapping Gavnixel text and it is going beneath that so then as you can see if we play that animation right now as you can see it is showing something like this and that's how it is going to do so after that you can like do another trick if you want to add a you know drop shadow then what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna select all these layers all together and then after that what you have to do click on pre-compose and then just uh, name the pre-compose layer like new sticker and then click on ok so then as you can see it is pre-composed so now you can just head over to the library's effects and then you can just search for drop shadow and then you can drag it to the pre-composed layer so as you can see from over there you can give it a drop shadow as well so I'm gonna make sure the drop shadow opacity is 70% and the distance is 0 and I'll increase the softness until I get what type of drop shadow I want so I think I will give it a more of a drop shadow something like this so if I play it right now then as you can see with the drop shadow it looks more absence and it looks more great so now what you can do you can just right now export that and can use it on your videos and that's how pretty much easily you can make a new sticker or information ticker or you can even say that it is a rolling text using after effects so i hope you guys enjoyed this video so that was the video guys if you guys did enjoy this video then make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you want to say something and if you are new to this channel then make sure to subscribe right now for more awesome and helpful videos in the future so i hope you guys enjoyed this video so as always enjoy see you guys in the next video